What's up, everybody? Had to do some yard work today. Humongous limb fell out of a tree, so I'm sawing up the front of it. We're gonna put the king quad to work. And uh, wanted to show a great find we got from my stepson. She was in uh, really good condition. The old uh, Ozark had about had it. So we found this 1995 Kodiak 400. No brakes in the plastic. He's done got it muddy, but original decals still there. Everything's in good shape. Even the seals are still pretty good. The only thing that needs to be replaced is I done ordered and got two brand new axles. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them. Them boots right there uh, are busted. 2,000 pound worn winch come on it. Still works in great shape. She's a beaut for age, brand new stock tires, which are garbage for anything but trails. But I was uh, happy to grab this up. It had a tune up done to it. Still in really good shape, motor's in good shape. It's awesome. We just put the king quad to work. I'm gonna see if it'll pull. I'm probably got my boy helping me. I'm gonna see if it'll pull at least about a six foot chunk of that. She might not, but we're gonna try. Goes back to why I talk about loving companies having these hitches on there like it makes it so much easier excuse me receiver makes it so much easier to throw your hitch in there when you're getting ready to do something like this uh, king quad might not quite have the cojones to pull it but the problem is x3 does not have a receiver on it it would obviously be a better option but uh we're gonna see what the king quad can do we'll join back with y'all in a minute what we're working with that's about good two and a half, two and a half to three feet wide across. As we all know, wood is very dense and heavy. I'm gonna try to cut it right about here. There's a, a limb right under there with an a arm that I can fasten my chain to. And we're gonna see if it'll pull this chunk right here. So we're gonna get the cut. All right, we got her down. Took a little work, used my splitting wedge. and got it down, tied up. We're gonna see what happens with this big boy. Use my chain, yes. I'm well aware this is a dangerous way to pull it. So I'm gonna have him filming from farther back. It's only about a 12, 10, 12 foot chain. And I'm not gonna be getting rowdy with it anyway, just in case it slips off the ball. All right, let's get her cranked up and see what happens. Well, the king quad was good enough to break it free and jerk it around to here. But as you can tell, it's tearing up my yard, four drive diff lock. Still ain't good enough. It just ain't heavy enough machine. This is 100% a chunk of wood that a good heavy folder should pull, but that's not, I'm not gonna knock the king quad for that. It just ain't heavy enough and the uh, stock tires are garbage. That's one area that probably about one of the few things I'll give my Polaris that I had. I had the two of them, a 98500 and a 19 Premium 1000. That thing was so heavy, obviously the traction was really good and they were good for pulling stuff like this. I know on my 500, I used to help a, my buddy pull off dead cows and stuff with ease. It would drag them right on down through there. But we're going to have to hook the truck up to it. The king quad is going to tear my yard all the pieces trying to tug it out. So we're going to unhook, and uh, if the side-by-side -side had a uh, receiver for a hitch, I would use it because it's probably heavy enough to drag it. Looks like we're going to have to hook the truck up, and we'll resume and see if the king quad can pull something smaller. All right, now we got the much heavier four-wheeler hooked up. <laughs> uh, once I get this pulled off, I'll cut a piece, maybe about five, six feet, more along the speed for the king quad, and we'll see how it does with something a little smaller. All right, we're gonna try this one. I figured probably around maybe about 300 pounds. This should be more along its speed. It should have plenty of traction to pull this. We're going to try it out.
We just had to give the uh, King Quad a more sizable bite to chew on. Really good machine. It just it isn't very heavy, which is what most people want for trail riding. So that hurts it on the traction department when trying to drag something heavy. Kind of aggravates me, even though the X3 is high performance, I will pretty much will work anything I have. Um, even though it's high performance, I think any manufacturer always, always put a two inch receiver on it so people can throw their hitches in there and pull something they want. Factory, don't, don't make us have to add it. You know, shouldn't have to add it for the cost of anything that we all buy these days. That's gonna do it for me. I don't know about where y'all live, but it is freaking hot where we're at. And uh, I'm gonna cut up a little bit more and I'm going in and we're gonna wrap it up. Y'all have a good one, stay safe.